Hello, today we're going to look at an assignment here in week three, or homework number three, which is unit hydrograph. So this is for sewer and water systems. And down over here, it talks about unit hydrograph and using a spreadsheet, develop and plot a unit hydrograph for a drainage base in a three and a half square miles. And with time of concentration, 120 minutes, assuming that a shape factor of 484 applies. So I've copied that. And if I come to my assignments, I'm sorry, my assignments, I go to week two. What I provided in week two is part 630, the Hydrology National Engineering Handbook, and the unit hydrograph. So I've already opened up the engineering handbook over here. And what I'm going to do now is open up the unit hydrograph. And allow it to be edited. So I'm going to do now is I know that I want to develop a unit hydrograph for now it's only going to be three and a half square miles. It has a time of concentration of two hours or 120 minutes a shape factor of 484 applies and its time of concentration is going to be two hours now i put that information over in here so now i'm ready to begin the homework problem because if i come back and look at under my assignments it says you especially develop a unit hydrograph plot which I've got now. Here's all my information I just transcribed. In week two, I have just taken this spreadsheet and I have this engineering handbook. Now, the first thing that you'd want to find out well, what the heck is a unit hydrograph? We've talked about this in class, but a unit hydrograph is really a pretty simple concept. It's the hypothetical. Unit response of a watershed in terms of runoff volume and timing to a unit input of rainfall. It could be defined as the direct runoff hydrograph resulting from one unit, which is either going to be a centimeter or one inch of effective rainfall occurring uniformly over that watershed at a uniform rate. So we're going to be doing with the English systems, we have one inch of rainfall, and that's going to give us what the response is. So it's a watershed, which we've defined for our problem is going to be three and a half square miles. It has a shape factor of 44, time of concentration of two hours. So I've defined our hydrograph in watershed a little bit. So if I come back over here to the engineering handbook, I have over here is these are the higher numbered hydrographs for the hy unit hydrograph. Uh, this will be like 500, 550, 600. And this one will be lower numbered ones. They have different responses to the amount of water that's going to flow out of them through the point that we analyze the water flow. This has an area of 4.6 square miles, same as this one, and a little bit different time of concentration, but it's going to give us differing shapes of the hydrograph because we have different shapes for the watershed. Now this is on page 13, but if I come back over here to page 12, I have now is the unit hydrograph in table 16-1 is a peak rate factor of 44, shape factor of 44. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, if I wanted to do the ones with the other shape factors, I could come all the way down here to the bottom portion of it. Here's a shape factor of 600. This one is 550, and so on. Now, over here, 
if I go back to my graph I have up here, I have my time to time of peak. I've sliced the time units up. And I'll come back here is that now I have for time to time of peak of 0, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5, etc. So now if I look at here's the, my time to time of peak ratio of 0.2 and it has a factor of 0 0.0108. And here's 0 0.0108. That is for shape factor of 600. But I'm changing that now, so I'm going to make it for a shape factor of 484. So I need to do a few things. Is I'm coming down over here. Here's my time segments that I have over here. Slicing that up. I'm going to change that from. 180 to 120. That's my two hours. Now I've already started to change my graph. You saw some changes taking place. Over here I have my peak flow is based on this equation or over here is another equation that's equal to but now I have it 484. That 600 would have been the shape factor. Now it's the area over time to peak. So I'm coming over here and putting in the right factors. Now 600, I'm changing that to a shape factor of 44. And now instead of a flow area, uh, sorry, watershed of 5 square miles, it's going to be 3.5. I've changed it to 3.5. I hit enter, and now I've got all of this information is changing. So now what I need to do is start to change these over here. My slices of time are going to still be uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. I could have taken smaller segments, but I just left it the way I had it before, which was slices of 0.2 for each increment that I come up for time to time of peak. But these numbers now are going to change. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to my handbook. I have to go back up to my table for 484, which is going to be way up here at the top. And now I have, here's my time ratios. I'm going to start to get these ratios. My first one for 0.2 is going to be 0 0.10. I need to change this one to 0.10. Zero, and I'm going to start to fill these in. Now for point four, it's going to be point three one zero. And you can see this is going to start to change. For point six, I have it as being point six six zero. Next one is going to be 4.8. And at 0.8 over here, I have 0 0.930. Yeah, and now I have time to time of peak is 1. It's still going to stay at 1 over here. But you can see over here, it stays at 1. That's on the upward swing of the hydrograph coming down. Come over here to point 0.2, which is going to be 0 0.930. 930. And for next one is going to be 1.4. I'm going to have it as 0 0.780, which is right from here. Oops, 0.80. And you see as I do that, this is starting now to change my hydrograph. I'm going to be at 1.6. It's going to be 
in 1.8 is 0 0.390. And then I'm going to come over here to 2, which is now going to be a different number, which is 0 0.280 right here. So that's all there is to it is you start to put those numbers in and you can do the remainder so that on the downward portion of the hydrograph, it'll start to regraph that. And now you've made a unit hydrograph, which is for one inch of rainfall over a drainage basin of three and a half square miles, with a time of concentration of 120 minutes, with a shape factor of 44. So if we come back to our engineering handbook, get that. The shape factor is a little bit skinnier than this, but that's all we're doing is we're looking at the shape factors of depending on how the watershed looks. So hopefully that uh, helps you out with being able to complete homework number three.